fun. Make sure you're staying safe. Yeah, those live images have just continued to deteriorate out of Galveston. We now want to shift gears, bring in Dr. Michael Brennan from the National Hurricane Center. Thank you for your time this morning. You know, across our entire area, Dr. Brennan, we've continued to see our live shots just deteriorate. The wind, the rain, of course, the storm surge, the tornado warnings that have popped in and out. You know what I want to ask you, how do you think the forecast has verified to what you guys have initially put out and then like leading up to today? Well, I think we, you know, we were able to anticipate that Barrow was going to regain in hurricane intensity. It really didn't start to intensify, though, until just a few hours before landfall, which is a good thing because otherwise it would have had an opportunity to get even stronger. Um, you know, we laid out a pretty broad area uh, covering the risk of storm surge, hurricane, and tropical storm force winds, given that uncertainty and the timing of the turn. Uh, but, you know, I think we were able to capture most of that risk pretty well. But we'll take a look. You know, the event's just starting for you know, folks in Metro Houston. As you know, conditions are still deteriorating. We're still seeing wind gusts. Uh, still seeing the storm surge, heavy rainfall, the tornado threat. That's all going to play out through the day today. You know, Dr. Brennan, I see your radar imagery. I have the same one behind me. And you see all that tropical moisture still in the Gulf. You're exactly right. What is your yeah. forecast here? Let's look at the next 6 to 12 hours specifically for us here locally. Yeah, well, the, as the center, you know, the center of uh, barrel is still here over Matagorda, Brazoria County area. It's going to slow. You continue to move north at about 12 and then take on a north, northeast motion. But, you know, as that center stays, you know, to the near and to the west of the Houston metro area, all that moisture on the east side is going to continue rotating in around it until the center passes to the north. So that heavy rainfall is going to continue. Uh, that's going to exacerbate the surge uh, flooding, that the water still piling into Galveston Bay with those strong onshore winds. So that combination of the surge and the rainfall is going to create some pretty dangerous conditions. you got flash flood warnings already in effect for basically the entire Houston metro area. And those, those conditions are going to you know, continue for at least the next several hours. The tornado threat's going to exist as well. And, you know, we still just had a wind gust to almost 70 miles an hour at Hobby Airport. So those mm. gusty winds, strong winds are going to continue. We haven't really seen the peak winds of barrel come down at all since landfall still around 80 miles per hour in our best estimate and, and dr brennan david paul here with you uh, as well both cheetah and i and, and kim up this morning you alluded to it right there this storm was undergoing an intensification right as it reached the coast and right as it was moving inland it was in the process of getting stronger it moved in around 4 a.m or so uh 80 mile an hour hurricane and at 6 a.m. your advisory with the with the eye inland still has an 80 mile an hour sustained wind category one hurricane. It's interesting and talk a little bit about how these storms that are intensifying right at landfall can hold on to that intensity for quite a long way inland. Yeah, that's the case sometimes, David, as we see, as the storms are strengthening even after they come inland. You know, part of the circulation is still out over water, and actually some of the strongest winds we're seeing on radar are back here in you know, Matagorda, Brazoria counties along the coast in the, in the sort of westerly flow to the south of the eye. So there's still some very strong winds occurring here and then on the east side as well. So it'll take a little while for the circulation to gradually spin down, but, you know, the, the, the peak winds do come down pretty quickly once you get over land and away from the immediate coastline. But the gusts are going to be pretty strong, and so you're going to still see those gusts up to or at hurricane force, even in portions of the Houston metro area for the next few hours. You know, this was a storm that uh, began life out there east of the Caribbean and had this incredibly long westerly track all the way across the Caribbean, all the way here into the western Gulf of Mexico. Uh, looking at the setup for the rest of the season, or at least the next month or so, I wonder if that west that 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 idea that storms are going to be moving further west and in fact we talked about a little bit at the hurricane conference that uh, uh, with the setup this season we might see storms that have are able to get further west uh, mm -hmm. through the Caribbean and into the Gulf what do you think about that trend continuing no, it's certainly possible. You know, again, the other thing that we lacked last year, for example, with El Nino was we didn't have a lot of storms that formed in the Gulf or in the Caribbean. So systems formed farther out east and then they recurve for the most part. Uh, we could see additional long track storms that stay pretty far south. But, you know, the, the biggest threat or one of the big threats to the Gulf Coast are storms that form in the Gulf, in the Caribbean and can rapidly strengthen and then make landfall with just two or three days. Uh, we don't may not have a week or more to watch them come across the Atlantic Lake Barrel. So that risk is going to exist in both categories uh, you know, later on this season. And it's a great reminder to people we've got most of the hurricane season left. Those peak months, August, September, October are still still to come.
We're, we're just getting warmed up. All right, Mike Brennan is director of the National Hurricane Center. And Mike, thank you for your time this morning uh, as we uh, ride out a strong Cat 1 barrel here in the Houston.